Okay, we back, man. We back with the Sports Rundown show, man. So let's get the intro. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, what up, y'all? What up, y'all? This your boy, LC The One, baby. LC The One, we asked you dig, a.k.a. Illmatic One, two fuck. And not the motherfucking gang numbers, man. But my actual jersey number I wore when I was hooping in high school, I just got through fans hooping. Y'all see my gear on. And my warm jersey right here on the back of my motherfucking chair. Hey, what's up to my LC Nation, my LC gang, and my LC crew? Hey, what's going on out there? Let me y'all live and get it. But, uh, uh, some breaking news, man. I just did some stories on this, man. Y'all check out the videos in my, in my video. Okay. Um, this is unbelievable, man. Uh, rest in peace to take off. Rest in peace to take off, man, from... The group Migos, unbelievable what just happened to him and he got killed in Houston. Terrible, man, terrible, okay? Uh, more developments come, ah, more developments come in, we're going to continue to cover the story and everything. But anyway, man, let's get right to this right here, man. Um, this is my reaction to the, the Utah Jazz versus the Memphis Grizzlies, man. This was a hell of a damn good game. A few days ago. It was a hell of a good damn game. Uh, very impressed. Uh, with this basketball game, this was really, really interesting. I'm going to say that right now. This was a very interesting basketball game. Uh, Lori Markham is very underrated. I really do believe that. When he was in Shot town I was a big fan of his. He just stayed hurt a lot. And I, he had a lot of potential. And it's showing now that he has his own team. This is his own team now. I thought he was going to show up in Cleveland, but they had others out there. Jerry Allen, they had Mobley. So he really, I mean, get his, he really didn't get his niche there, okay? If I can say it like that. But anyway, um, he got it right where he at now, okay? Uh the Jazz knew exactly what they was doing. They kept Lloyd Mark. They kept Conley. They brought in another big, a stretch big, because they want to go from that poster game. Why don't you get back into that John Stockton, Carl Malone type of style? And that's what they got Lloyd Mark and Mike Conley for, and the host of others that's with them. But uh, yeah, let's get right to this game, man. Uh, very interesting game. So let's go to the first game changer moment. The first game, uh, uh, game changer moment came within. It came within six minutes of the first quarter. Okay, uh, I got my notes here, man. Y'all know I'm your statistics group. It came within six minutes of the first quarter. Saxton comes down on a half court type of set and drives hard right and gets a high arc and layup over three defenders. Okay, mind you, Stephen Adams was in that group. Okay, they got dropped off. Uh, Wow, like I gotta say, this this right here was a game changer moment because at that point, it was eleven to eleven. Uh, they was knotted up, and uh, you know, you could tell it was gonna be one of them type of up and down type of games all game night. Uh, uh, but let me tell y'all something. Um, Saxon being on that squad also is a is a, is a, a dimension that they never had because they got a dip. A, well, I can't say this. He's not as lethal as Don Mitchell, but he could be as potent because he could do a lot of things, okay? Do a lot of intangible things that you need besides scoring, okay? Um, get people involved that will help the ball club be successful. Well, let's take a look at this first game changer moment, man. Uh, so, as you see, man, uh, Saxon gets the ball. They coming down, they walking it down, basically. But he sees the opportunity. Look at this. One, two, three, four, five. All these players. Oh. Excuse me. They, look, look where they positions at. Okay, nobody is back at all in the painted area. So he recognized that immediately. So he knows he if he drives, he got all the, he got at least three people to uh, beat. Okay, if he was to drive to the basket, 
And that's exactly what he did. It's good court awareness. Uh, and this was a good play because look, look where these players at. Okay? Look where they players at. Okay, they 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 up high and they kept what? They kept the defense up here. They walked it down. That was like a set. That probably was a play. Uh, uh. Excuse me, Okay, that probably was a play that was designed by the coach. Uh, great play. Incredible play. Um, uh, but anyway, let's get let's get right to it, man. Let's get right to it so y'all can see uh, exactly how this play <laughs> developed. Okay, so let's check it out. Okay, here we go. Zachary comes down. Before they was able to get back into their defensive set or whatever they was going to do, uh, Saxon took advantage of it, and he... Uh, blue battle so quick, he's so fast, uh, like Kyrie Irving, and took advantage of the defense. Let's take a look at that one more time. Okay, uh, here's the play before, so it should have brought right here. We go. Sasha sees that opportunity, he sees way, uh, because this, well, the defense is all, almost set because I guess they was gonna play a man, okay, but he was too quick. Good to see the big, you seen the big that was out of the paint, Adams. So basically, after you get past your defender and you see Adams, he's way trailing back there. You know, opportunities you get a layup. Uh, uh. Okay, so yeah. Um, uh, but anyway, let's let's get back to it. let's get back to uh, uh, let's let's go back. I'm, I'm looking at this this live screen right now. Uh, these brothers they're talking about. Uh, it's, well, we're supposed to be talking about uh, uh, takeoff, but it's talking about something else right now. So they talking about a lot of stuff that you know that has broken down the black community. And stuff like that. I may go live as well, talking about this, and um, people can chime in if they want to. Okay, but anyway, um, let's 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 go to the next game changer moment. So y'all see how I broke down, and he scored. Next game changer moment came within eleven minutes and fifty-seven seconds in the second quarter. Y'all got to excuse me, man, because I'm kind of bothered a little bit because it was too early in the morning to hear the type of news uh, that that young brother was killed like that. Man, it was ridiculous to me. Um, to hear that uh, over a dice game, well, being that they rich like that, you know, you we don't, we don't expect that's not a norm for us. Uh, you know, if they was out and about, they was out and about in a in a prestigious area too. At mind you, okay. But anyway, let's get back to it, man. I'm trying to stay folky and get this one over with, so I can go back to investigating, reporting, and find out more on this situation. Okay. So this right here, this instant right here, this came within uh, 11 minutes and 57 seconds in the second quarter, okay? Um, Horton Tucker, if y'all don't remember Horton Tucker, he used to be with the Los Angeles Lakers. Now he is a, a Utah Jazz. And I think that was probably one of the best moves they ever made uh, was acquiring this young brother, man, because, wow, is all I got to say. This guy is incredible. Um the way he plays is so hard, and I thought I thought he would have been a Laker forever. But anyway, let's go into this play. Time stamp is right there. So as you see, Horton Tuck is right here at the top. Uh, he gets the ball. What he does is um, when he drives, um, he drives to the back. He came, came from the, the top of the three-point line and goes hard to the basket, hard to the rack. And I think he when he when he went to the rack, he got the air one call also. Okay. And at this point, it was they was down. So he let they come back. He started the comeback. The two plays really that he has right here in this uh, game changing thing that really changed everything. He led the the attack. Okay, uh, for them coming back. They, at this point, they was down twenty three to twenty six. Down by three. Uh, after they had took the momentum in the first quarter. So let's see how this play develops. He gets the ball right here. See, he got his defender on him. Uh, mind you, a lot of players. Jackson, they they big man is out. So they don't have nobody really to defend. No, no um, um, rim protectors at all, really, besides Stephen Adams. But at this point, Stephen Adams is not on the court, I don't think. I don't think he's in the ball game. But anyway, uh, uh, I think this is Kelly Olenek. He comes up and sets a screen, and he just rolls right off of him and just continues to go right to the rack. Then another set design play by the coach. Let's, take, let's see how it unfolds. Okay, here we go. Okay, just the ball comes down, slash, tap, rap, boom. He gone. The audio got muted. I don't know how. Okay. But he slashes had the rack. He could have dunked the ball. I think that's what he did. Yep, he dunked the ball. And 
you know, it was a break. It was a collapse in the defense. That was the defense fault for that sequence right there. Okay, let's go back to it so y'all can see it in its entirety. So he gets the ball right here. Gets the screen from Olenek. Hold on, I'm going to go back just a little bit more so y'all can see right there. Okay. Okay. So he gets the screen. No, we got to go back to where John is. Okay, right here. Okay, so here we go. Okay, he calls up Kelly Lynch, calls up, gives a, a nice little screen roll. Uh, that's not a pick and roll because there's too many people right here. See all these people bunched up? So it, will be, it won't be a, a clear one unless he comes, picks, and pops. Okay, that's what it is. Pick and roll, pick and pop. And here, and Kelly Lynch be able to shoot the jumper from right here. After the defense is over on this side, he brings man away. Okay, let's see how it unfolds. I'll watch the whole play. Okay. Turnovers. Get the screen. His man immediately follows him. Uh, defense breaks and parts like the red seat. That was the second game changer moment. Now this right here, at that point, uh, really changed everything for them. Okay, because at this point, that's when um, the the Jazz they fought back and they ended up taking the lead again. Now the third game changer moment came within nine minutes and fifty three seconds left in the second quarter. Okay, so let's go down to that timestamp. I think that was the second quarter. Yeah, it was second quarter. Went out nine minutes and some change. Left. Okay. There we go. Nine minutes. This is exactly it right here. Yeah, I think I got to go back just one more notch. Because, once again, Horton Tucker has the ball in his hand. And he's attacking. Okay. So, he gets the ball from a feed from Kettle Lynch right here. And what he does is, um, he gets the ball top of the right, drives baseline, spins, on the defense and scores uh, uh, I, my, my, my handwriting is so terrible but, uh, uh, he scores which oh it started a comeback okay that's what happened okay it, 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 that comeback led to them taking the lead and at that point they was in the driver's seat the whole rest of the night so uh, let's take a look at this real quick so as you can see Gordon Tucker right there, another set design play for him. They got a bunch of fast guards out there right now, okay, because their defense is slow to react. Okay, so let's get to it, and let's see. Okay, so here we go. Gordon Tucker gets that, in, in, that feed pass from uh, Kelly O'Leary. Drives right, right, okay. After he breaks his defender down, he sees that the big man, Steven Adams, is out there. So, you know, his fans on him. And gets a layup. Oh, that's not um Steven. Now that's, that's someone else. But y'all see what happened. Okay. Uh broke down the defender at the speed burst past his his man that was guarding him. And he was able to get that layup. Okay, let's take a look at that one more time in its full entirety. So y'all can see how the the play really unfolded. Uh or really what happened. Okay, so we're gonna start from right here. Okay, so here we go. Hit the ball, spin. Okay, so that's it right there. Okay, now for the fourth game changer moment. The fourth game changer moment. And I think this is the last game changer moment. It came within four minutes and 45 seconds left in the second quarter. And at this point, they were winning the basketball game. The Jazz was winning the basketball game. They was up big at this point, uh, about 10 points. And after that, they, they was in the driver's seat, okay? They was in the driver's seat. And let me tell y'all something, man. Uh, this ball club is for real, man. This is a really good team right here. Don't take it. Don't take that. Don't take it. Take them for granted. Uh, and don't get it misses through. They, they will give you the business, man. The Utah Jazz. As long as they stay healthy, okay? As long as they stay healthy on all, the whole regular se the rest of the season, I think they'd be all right, okay? So let's take. Let's, let's go to this time step. We're almost there. Like I said, man, I'm kind of perturbed of what happened to this young fella, man. But anyway, um, in this sequence, Morant throws a lazy pass, and the pass gets picked off, okay? It gets picked off. Um, who picked this pass off? I want to make sure I give you all the right information um, before we go to this time step, okay? Let's, uh, let's uh, hold on. I'm going to get the time. It's, it's coming up right here, okay? So this is the sequence right here. Okay, so first I'm gonna give you the, the player's name because I really couldn't hear the announcer saying it too good. Okay, and then also, um,
Oh man, okay, some breaking news. Okay, now Steve Nash has left the ball club. Steve Nash has left the Brooklyn Nets after a two and five start. So we're gonna come in and take over that ball club uh, to be the captain of the ship. Okay, uh, wow. Okay, but anyway, let me get y'all this player's name, man. Um, because after this pick right here, after this this steal. The, the game was over with, okay? They kept him off balance. Mark him, started scoring. Uh, they couldn't do nothing with him uh, inside nor outside. It was just a hell of a damn game the whole night for them. Uh, they hit their hands full, man, but this, this, this young ball club, too. This young ball club, man, they, with a lot of tenacity. Uh, okay, this was Jared Vanderbilt, the center. Jared Vanderbilt got the clip. Okay, and went right to the house. Okay, so let's see what happened. Okay, so now Ja has the ball. Okay, Ja has the ball. It's supposed to be, I guess it was supposed to be uh, just a regular play. They set up the play. That was, that was, that was set, they were set up the play. Steven Adams, you see, he's blowing down. He's going, eventually he's going to go down this way. And he throws the ball over to this guy. But the defense recognized what type of play it is. I don't even know what type of play it was. Watch that, watch the house. Okay. As he's throwing the ball over. Um, you can say you kind of can say it's the offensive player's fault a little bit because he wasn't high. He should have been right here around this area, okay? Because he was too close to him. He was too close, or he could have bounced past the ball to him to ensure that he would have it would be a uh, 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 not a higher uh, risk of him being clipped off, okay? So let's see what happens, okay? In this sequence, let's see what breaks down, okay? Clips the ball. Gets clipped off by Jerry Vanderbilt. Okay. He goes all the way to the right. Uh, can't do nothing with that. Okay. Once again, that was John Morant's fault. Throwing a lazy pass. He should have paid attention to the defense. Uh, probably moved it to the other side. And he got caught in a bad situation. And got clipped off. And they went to the right. Okay. Hold on. After this play. Okay. okay, so now here it comes. Okay, once again, like I said, uh, you see, uh, he try, he's trying to set the offense up. That's what they're trying to do. They're trying to set up the offense. And um, it just was a busted play. It was a, a, a misfailure, a miscalculation. And before they even got a chance to run the play, the player recognized the defense. Uh, the defense recognized the play. Got a clip off. Just straight to the right. And the rest is his. Okay, that's it, man. After that, they blew him out. That was the game changer moment right there. Um, so let's get to the uh, let's get to the the box scores, man. So as y'all know, man, we start losing to him first, as it always. Okay, so right now we're gonna start with the losing team. Like I just said, we're gonna start losing team, and that will be um, that will be. The Memphis Grizzlies, um, they, they got off to a good start uh, to start off the season. But right now, they're going through their walls and stuff as everything does. Okay, so let's see. You Let's start with the, uh, the Grizzlies. How many? Okay. Uh, for the Memphis Grizzlies on this night was John Morant. He lost 31, 31 minutes and 29 seconds. 31 minutes and 29 seconds. Okay. Uh, scored 37 points, uh, and five rebounds, four assists, and your boy shot 12 for 18 from the field goal, um, from the field, and finished better than 66.7 percent from the field goal for the field goal percentage, and he shot one or two for the three, with let him at 50 percent. Then right behind him was D. Brooks. D. Brooks had 19 points, four rebounds, one steal, one assist. Uh, that was it, pretty much. And he shot six for sixteen. He shot terrible from the field. Okay, and, let, and finished with thirty-seven point five percent on the field goal. Okay, and right behind them was T. Jones with twelve, and X. Tillman with eight. Okay, let's go to the winning team, baby. The winning team, my main man, Lloyd Markinen. Okay, lost thirty-one minutes and thirty-four seconds on that night. Your boy scored 31 points, 11, he had 11 rebounds, 2 assists, 1 steal. He shot, he had 4 blocks also. He, had, he shot 11 for 15 from the field, 
He finished with 73.3% from the field goal. And the boys are stood, man. He took care of business uh, out there. It was raining threes. And he was 4 for 11. He was, he wasn't scared. He wasn't, no, no, hold on. He was 4 for 6 for the three. Okay, Lori Mark, he can't hit him three because when he's in shot town, that's what he focused on. Okay, and right behind him was M. Conley. Like I talked about him. He lost 30 minutes and 16 seconds on that night. He scored 15, 16, 15 points. Had two rebounds, five assists, had one steal, and your boy shot five for nine from the field and finished with 55.6% on the on the night. Okay, that was it. Basically, uh, that's it. And uh, off, off the bench, Saxon had 15, and Beasley had 18, and T. Horton Tucker had 13. That's it, y'all. Uh, I was kind of a turn trying to do this energy, man. You know, it's crazy, man. Got to deal with another death of hip hop. Take off. Wow. This is so I don't know what's gonna become of their group, man. Uh offset still there. Take off and uh Quavo, they was really paired up. Offset was leaving the group. Wow, this is crazy. Yeah, offset just did the video with DGG out there. Yeah. Man, this is terrible. Uh for hip hop. But I pray for another I pray for you know, peace. In the black community and stuff, man. Cause this stuff has got to stop. But anyway, man, we think about it, man. And it's your boy LC One, baby. LC the one we asked. You did A K A. Your matter for two folks. And not the motherfucking game numbers, man. But my actual jersey number I wore when I was hooping in high school. And my woman jersey right here on the back of my motherfucking one just spin. Like I was saying, make sure you pep the voice slipping. Because they will get your motherfucking ass if we slip. Oh, that motherfucker went out and paid. You think what I'm talking about, man? And like I always say, man, trust me, I'm going to pull these shots, man. If you make a gang, I'm going to see proof. And if y'all like this video, <laughs> share this video, step back. Oh, my God, Lloyd Market. <laughs> and then comment on this video, man. And most importantly, while man, subscribe to my YouTube channel, man. And turn the notification bell button if y'all get more exclusive reactions from your sports rundown guru. And like I always say, church on record. I'm gone. Five, four, three, two, one. And we're doing sports right now for all. All sports, football, basketball, baseball, hockey, when we get around to it, okay? My am going to next one. You dig me?